In this video, we will illustrate several ways to use the address book in Microsoft Outlook. I should emphasize that this video specifically covers the Microsoft Outlook application, not the mobile app, nor the Outlook web access interface. If it's been a while since you last refreshed the offline address book in Outlook, or if you've never refreshed it, you should do that first. For instructions, look for a separate video titled how to refresh the offline address book in Outlook. You should be able to find a link to that video in the description field for this video here on YouTube down below. Let's look at a few ways to use the address book. I'm going to click on the new mail button on the ribbon. Here, I'll click on the to button. This dialog box is our lookup tool. Note here, this dropdown shows a number of possible address books. We will focus on the offline global address list, a list of all current contacts within the MassBay community. Case one, you want to send an email to someone but are not sure of their email address. From this screen, click in the search box and start typing their last name. You'll see as you begin to type, the last names that begin with those letters you typed will begin to appear in the search box. The more letters you type, the narrower your search will be and you can use the scroll buttons to further refine your search until you find the person you're looking for. Then you can click on them and then click on the to button. A double click on the name will also add them to the email as well. To proceed with sending the email, simply click OK and you'll see the name gets filled in up here. Another tool is triggered by a keyboard shortcut, the Control K shortcut. Right in the to box, you can start typing a name. A drop-down list will appear as you begin typing letters with names that you've used to send email before that have those characters in it. You can also, at any point after typing a series of letters, press Control K and the Check Names dialog box will appear, providing a list of names that have that string of characters you typed in. Again, the more characters you type in up here before hitting Control K, the narrower this search will be. If the name you were looking for appears on this list, select it, click OK, and you'll see that name will be filled in up here in the two line. For case number two, we're going to use the directory for something other than email. What if you're looking for the phone number of a colleague or an employee of the college? Go ahead and click on the To button, and let's use our search box again. Let's begin typing in the name of the person whose phone number we're looking for. Here's who we're looking for. Keep in mind this list is an exhaustive list of all of the users in the MassBay universe, and we only include phone numbers of employees at the college, and in most cases, just full-time employees. So I've selected the person. I'm going to go ahead and right-click on the name, and I'm going to click on Properties. Here you have a contact card, so you can see the address of the campus in this case, the title, and the phone number. If you click on the phone, notes tab you'll see the business phone number in this case we just use extensions here at mass bay so you can dial the main number and request that extension and for this particular user there happens to be an entry for a mobile number where you can also contact them back on the general tab you'll see the name listed in alias that's their email address or i should say the beginning of their email address it's their alias at massbay.edu and you can even find out where their office is located from this screen so there's a lot of information you can gain from this at this point you can simply click ok or cancel to close that dialog box let's look at one more case what if you were looking for one of the academic deans at the college from this search dialog box go ahead and click on advanced find Click in the title text box and type in Dean and then click OK. The search will produce a list of all individuals in the address book who have Dean in their title. Here you can see their names, their full title, their business phone numbers, and additional information. You can get a contact card for any one of them by right-clicking on them and clicking on Properties. The one thing you need to keep in mind here is there may not be full standardization on titles. So just because you type something in and don't find it doesn't mean it's not there. Let me give you one last example of that. Let's say we're looking for a vice president of the college. So under title, I'm going to start by typing the word vice and clicking OK. So here are three folks listed with vice in their title. All are vice presidents. The thing is, those aren't the only vice presidents of this particular university or vice presidents that are listed in the address book. You'll see if I do another search and I use VP, two additional vice presidents will come up. So just be cautious of the fact that titles aren't necessarily standardized. It's simply a great tool that you can use to help narrow down your search and find things a little bit more efficiently.
The examples I've shown here are meant to cover some of the more common uses and to serve as a base for your ideas on how you might use the offline address book and its search tools. Thank you for watching.